This is your guide on how to dress better. I'm a fashion girly at heart. You actually might have seen me on your Pinterest. <laughs> I know a lot of us are just struggling, like our outfits are just not quite hitting the mark. You might even have a dream style you're trying to emulate, or you just don't know what the f you're doing. <laughs> we're just going through a slump right now, and I'm gonna help you out as your big sis because we're all beautiful and sexy and awesome. <laughs> Hi hotties, a lot of you said that my last video on kind of how to dress for your body type was really helpful So I thought I would make this a series I know a lot of us are struggling on how to make our outfits better I have been there So I want to show you all my tips and tricks on how to figure that out. All right boring intro over. Let's play dress up We need to figure out our go-to's these will serve as our basics and I'm not even saying basics like a white tee and jeans Like come on. We know that your go-to's have to fit three criteria They have to be versatile because again, they're kind of like serving as your basic You can be able to pair it with any top or bottom and it will look good You don't have to use too much brain power. They have to be flattering and it's not even like oh like if you're pear shaped Like you have to wear this like no, 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 no girl watch my last video I talk about different ways to enhance different parts of your body or hide them by flattering I mean that you have to feel cute and confident in them because again if they are go-to like you're gonna be wearing them a lot You don't want to be walking around feeling insecure like who wants to feel like that and number three and probably my most important thing Is that it has to be comfortable again? It's completely unrealistic to have a go-to in your wardrobe that you feel just like itchy in and I'm not saying that you can't own anything that doesn't fit those three criteria because I'm gonna be so honest I do have a lot of pieces in my wardrobe that I still love because I like wearing out to clubbing or you know like like special occasions like birthdays really cute dresses and they really really align with my style and I do feel cute and confident but right now we're, we're doing one thing at a time. When you don't know what you're doing at all, you have to go back again to your basics or your go-tos. A huge tip I have for you is to keep like a little photo diary of all of your outfits that you go out and about and you feel confident and cute in. And with all of those photos, we can use that as data to kind of analyze it. <laughs> Stay with me here. I know it sounds kind of hard, but don't, don't fret. Like it doesn't have to be like aesthetic photos. We're really just using this as data to pick apart the silhouettes, colors, fabrics, etc of like what you actually wear and aligns with your lifestyle because I know it's so easy to have like a little Pinterest board you're like yeah like this is my dream style but sometimes it doesn't fit with our daily lifestyle and it'll just be uncomfortable and you will not feel as confident as you wanted to while you're wearing them out and about and when you're shopping it makes it so much easier to filter out the other things that you probably would have wasted your money on so it's better for your wallet and for the planet here's a visual representation or diagram of what I'm talking about about using that photo diary to find similarities between the outfits that you actually wear again This is a super like rough and kind of bad graph, but you guys get the gist This will help you maximize your own wardrobe and try to figure out your own style Everyone's is gonna look different and I feel like that's the beauty of fashion For example a baby tee is one of my go-to's and you're probably thinking Jasmine Wow a white t-shirt like thank you so much for that. I really didn't know Okay The reason why this is one of my go-to's is because of the cut and the silhouette as you can see right here The sleeve kind of flares out and I find that's really flattering on the arm area and you can see right here how it cuts right below my belly button I really like wearing kind of like low-rise jeans like this this length of shirt is what I feel really confident in it also doesn't hug too tight on my belly area like it kind of flares out right here too which I really like and once I figured all of that out it makes shopping really easy or you know when I'm just like damn I don't know what to wear today like I'm just gonna go out grocery shopping or something like that I know I can always count on this kind of top to serve me right And with what I learned from the baby tee and how I like it kind of flares on the bottom, it's not too tight. When I was looking for tank tops, I try to find ones that kind of fit that too. If you have been here for a while, you would know that I had insecurity with like wearing tank tops. I didn't, I, I don't know. I just really didn't like how they looked on me. So I kind of wanted to go slow. You know, you have to listen to yourself. You have to be really, really honest with yourself on what you feel comfortable and confident in. And this kind of tank top helped me kind of grow and feel more confident in them. So I can branch out to other fit and silhouettes as well but this was definitely one of my go-to's for a long time it still is i mean i'm not gonna lie like i think my boobies look kind of good in it um so <laughs> as i was trying to figure out everything and i was buying new pieces i did kind of gravitate more neutral colors like this and obviously like the white baby tee because they are just like more versatile and they fit in my wardrobe a little bit better but if you like vibrant colors Go for that, you know? Notice the cut of this tank top too. It's really similar to the baby tee, which I found that I like. So, is this all making sense? I hope so. And 
And as I was realizing like, yeah, I really do like baby tees and I do wear them a lot. Like it really fits the style that I'm going for. Like I'm realistically wearing them a lot. I thought that I would go a little bit more crazy and try something new with this kind of top. It has the same cut as my more casual baby tees. The sleeve kind of pokes out and I also really, really like the shoulders of these. They're a little bit more structured. I personally really like the look of like a broader, more like angular shoulder. So I think this kind of matches with that. And because this top is a little bit more out there, like she's a little scandalous. I kind of dissected that I really do like a kind of collar action right here. And I think that this kind of open, <laughs> this open part is really, really fun. So I actually got that top that I wore in the intro of this video. Basically the same shirt as this. It's just a gray color and it's long sleeve. So it could just be a little bit more versatile. Like, oh, if it's a little bit chilly, but like not too chilly for my boobies to be out. <laughs> I can wear that long sleeve. And with that, this one and the gray one are my go-tos for like clubbing, festivals, concerts. Oh my gosh, how can I forget about bottoms as well? These are my favorite jeans in the world. I talk about them all the time. But again, I found that I really like low rise jeans. And I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but they're mine. Everyone's just going to figure out exactly what they like. This is just what I like. And because they're low rise, I don't like the jeans to be too tight. Or if they are too tight, I at least like them to have a little bit of a flare. But as you can see, these are wide leg. I think it adds like a little bit more like casual look to it because I know like sometimes low rise jeans can be a little bit alarming. <laughs> it's obviously so important to find a good jacket, especially if you already found like the perfect tank top and the perfect t-shirt. You could always rely on a good jacket to keep you warm. I know this isn't super basic, but I do find that I really like wearing red. I think especially with my hair color, like I just really like warm tones. So I got this jacket first. Oh my God collar and from the last top I knew that I really like collars so I like this one as well but the hugest thing about this jacket that I really like is the cut because I am a little bit on the shorter side like I have a shorter torso I like when jackets kind of hit like on this area, kind of at the hip area, just a little bit low. I don't really like too crop. It doesn't show my proportions or anything. It flares at the bottom. It's perfect. And because of that, wait, I got this leather jacket because I was like, wait, leather jackets are kind of slain. Like I really, really like them. So I got this one because of course it is a little bit more neutral. It doesn't have like a giant logo on it, but the fit and structure are very, very similar. It's definitely more versatile because for the other one, I like to wear it all the way zipped up because I want to show the entire logo. But this one, since it's plain, I can leave it open, zip it up a little bit. This one actually has a little bit more of a structured shoulder, which y'all know that I like. The cut is very similar to the other one, and I know that I can really rely on this jacket when I'm on the go. I'm just like, damn, I'm cold. Let me just grab a jacket, and I know that this will match with everything. Oh, now we gotta go. Because I'm being so realistic with myself, I know that I'm just not a huge fan of buttons when it comes to jackets. I'm not trying to be like, Okay, especially when I have my long nails, I'd be like, mm, struggling. So I always try to find jackets that have a zip up. It's just kind of details like that, that you have to be aware of and just like, you know, be realistic with yourself. So we've learned about all of our go-tos. Oh my God, Suki, she's here. She wants to figure out her style. And that brings me to kind of the main point of this video, the meat. There are so many easy ways to elevate an outfit. So I want you to look at this outfit. I think it looks really nice. Like there's nothing really wrong with it, but there needs to be some pizzazz. There needs to be some like cohesion to it to make it better and the first concept that I would introduce you to is a color sandwich okay so when you think of a sandwich oh my god there's bread then there's the filling and then there's another slice of bread there's no bread there's no filling it's kind of just here <laughs> an easy way to kind of create that color sandwich is obviously adding a jacket and just like that that's a little bit more balanced but the thought behind this is because my shoes are black I have to guide the eyes upward so it's not just like so like feet heavy if that makes sense like it's also bottom heavy and if you're not in the mood for a jacket or it's just a little bit too hot this color sandwich theory can also apply to accessories to match the black of my shoes i can easily throw on a pair of sunnies and i feel like that just adds i don't know like don't you see the vision do you see the sandwich <laughs> even putting it on top like this i'm also going to add this really cool necklace and just like that with just a few accessories i think this outfit just has so much balance and it looks really more elevated When I got these pair of red boots, I wore it with an outfit like this. It's no secret that red and black go together, but there needs to be something else. Like, I feel like it's just not tied together. It feels really bottom heavy because your eyes are directed at my red shoes and there's kind of nothing to look at up here. I actually don't have that many red accessories and I was just like, what can I do to bring on top for it to be better? But there's nothing easier or even just more sexy than a red lip. I mean, these kind of match, right? Yeah. I wanted to give this example because it doesn't mean that 
that you have to keep buying accessories or buying new pieces to make things work. And with that simple change, I feel like the look just looks a little bit more complete. This color sandwich theory doesn't always have to do with colors. I guess it would just be like sandwich theory, sandwich concept. I don't know. I'm like hours into filming this video and I'm already delirious. It's literally the way that I forgot to actually explain what I'm talking about. But basically you can use this method to mirror the weight or structure of pieces to give a more balanced effect. Let's take a look at this outfit. As you can see, the shoulders are really broad. And I know I mentioned that I like the look of broad shoulders, but I think this is just a little bit too top heavy. And the reason for this is because I'm wearing a pretty tight bodycon dress under and the shoes that I'm wearing are pretty snug to my ankles. This outfit is completely unbalanced and like you really just look at the shoulders and just how wide this jacket is just in general. Taking the fact that the blazer is wide, I decided to go with these boots because you can see it kind of flares out and it matches the wide shoulder of this. Like, can you see the difference? These shoes are obviously more chunky than the other ones too. So it does match that kind of, I guess, weight and structure overall for the outfit. And if we want to go for the color sandwich, I added these sunnies to match the shoes. Ta-da! <laughs> Not to mention, I feel like a badass in this outfit, like, oh my god. <laughs> I will say, I love me a monochromatic outfit. It just looks expensive, like, I love it so much. I love wearing all black when I'm feeling a little bit like, mm, I want to look mysterious, but also when I don't want to think hard at all. I just know it's going to look good. If you're feeling a little bit more fun that day, adding a contrasting accessory, it could be a purse or even just like the red lipstick, that pop of color can bring a lot of life into the outfit and change it up. For a damn good outfit, it's all in the details. With this one, I feel like it's really cute. I mean, okay. I know this skirt is a little bit short, we're gonna ignore that, but I think that this is just like a cute little casual, like, okay, like she's trying to give, like it's giving just a little bit. There's definitely room for improvement. And as you can see, the detailing right here is red. And okay, to add a little bit more personality, because if you know me at all, you know that I love bows. Oh my God, I got a really weird comment being like, you're too old to like bows. Like literally let me live. Anyways, I thought it'd be really lovely to add some red ribbon to match this. Bow details don't always have to be in your hair so I thought that I would try it out in the belt loop like this I love when people add personality into their outfit and this is my kind of way of doing it I added heels because I kind of wanted to go for like a more coquette vibe I don't know I just feel like such a girly girl with like a nice pair of heels and some bows now that I look at it though I feel like the colors are very like bottom heavy black skirt black shoes I don't know why this is so controversial but I'm gonna add socks to my heels I don't know man some people just have really strong feelings about adding socks to heels but I think they're cute and I think that's the whole point of this video do what you love. Do what makes you feel good. Everyone's always gonna have their own opinions. Literally, who cares? <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna need to add new socks because this is not good. Maybe that was a blessing in disguise because I decided to go for these frilly socks since I feel like they match the coquette vibe that I'm going for a little bit better. The white socks matches my top. The texture of the bows, as you can see, it kind of pokes out a little bit. The frilliness of the socks, I think just gives so much life to this outfit. Another super easy and simple way to elevate your outfit is finding the perfect elevated shoe. This pair is my ultimate go-to because, oh my gosh, look how funky it is. I feel like it just adds so much like character, but because of the block heel and the platform, it is so easy and comfortable to walk in. So I know I can always count on it. I don't have to sacrifice style over comfort for these shoes. And I feel like for shoes, like you have to make sure that they're comfortable because your feet will be hating you by the end of the day if you just try to persevere. My feet are literally scarred from blisters because I was like, you know what? I can just wear these shoes like it makes the fit work like it's not worth it it's not these are another example of a pair of elevated shoe that i like okay i know they're big but at the end of the day they are just white sneakers but of course like definitely elevated not even <laughs> like elevated like you get taller but also just like more cool than normal shoes what am i even saying this gives me like a good four inches i don't know wait how many maybe three three and a half I don't know, I'll take it. When I'm looking at chunky sneakers though, I always make sure they kind of have a more narrow tip. Just because if they were more blocky or rectangular or like square, it would make my feet just look like blocks. Like I would look, look like a Lego. So having a more narrow toe kind of like combats that. I just wear these whenever I would wear normal white sneakers and I feel like this just adds like a little like Bratz factor. Like I love dressing like a Bratz doll.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it was helpful. Maybe you learned some tips and tricks. Let me know what your favorite one was. Well, I know trying to solidify your style or just finding new ways to like make your closet a little bit more fun can sometimes be really daunting. I mentioned in the intro that I want to make this a series. So if you have any other questions, let me know down below because again, I would love to answer them. I love helping my hotties out. And even if you have your own tips and tricks, leave them down below. Maybe I can include them in my next video. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys and playing dress up and I'll see you next time. Bye, love you, mwah.